Joseph Ballin, why do people act like Trump is some kind of secret dove or something? Not a single thing he said would change U.S. foreign policy in any shape or form. ISIS, he wants to bomb the family members of ISIS, which is a war crime. Israel, continue the support for the apartheid regime. Saudi Arabia, he said he'd go to war for the Saudis. Iran opposes the Iran deal. Military spending, he wants to spend even more. Basically, he's a neocon, but for some reason, people act like he isn't. Well, we all know why people act like um, uh, Donald Trump is not a neocon, and it's captured here when he talks about how he was against the war in Iraq. This is Donald Trump attacking Hillary Clinton um, for being trigger happy, which I think, uh, I don't know if trigger happy is the way I would characterize it, but I think there's some truth to the attack, but there's something about this attack that seems slightly disingenuous. Let's play the tape. On foreign policy, Hillary is trigger happy. She is, she's trigger happy. She's got a bad temperament. You look what she did. And look at this. I just wrote this down. Iraq, Libya. She voted Pause it. Iraq. I'm also willing to bet that Donald Trump didn't just write that down. No, I mean, look, I did. I just, I just spare the moment. Go ahead. Look at this. I just wrote this down. Iraq, Libya. Iraq. She voted Iraq. Let's go into Iraq. I voted against it, except I was a civilian, so nobody cared. From the beginning, I said it's going to destabilize the Middle East, and Iran will take over Iraq. You know, Pause it. Now, he was just a civilian, uh, so he voted against it, but he was a civilian, so nobody mattered. Actually, you know what we can do is there is a place where civilians get to vote on something like this. And uh, the place that they vote on it actually keeps an audio record of their vote. That place is called the Howard Stern Show in 2002, late 2002. Let's listen to Donald Trump on that show. Are you for invading Iraq? Yeah, I guess. So, uh, you know, I wish it was I, I wish the first time it was done correctly. So there you have it. Uh, and by the first time, he means, uh, as he wrote in his book, that he wished that uh, George Herbert Walker Bush had gone all the way in to Baghdad when uh, in the first Iraq war. So when Donald Trump says he voted against the Iraq war, but nobody paid attention because he was just a civilian. What he means is that. Um, when he was on the biggest morning radio talk show in the history of the nation, he said he was for going into Iraq. It was actually opposite day on the Stern Show. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. All I'm right. great at opposite day. I do a fantastic job playing opposite day. So that's the bona fides in which uh, Donald Trump uh, bases his entire, his entire perspective or the way that other people who say Donald Trump won't be worse than Hillary Clinton. And he goes on with a critique of uh, Clinton that I think to some extent may be valid, but it comes from a place which is a total lie, which is that he's any better. You look what she did. And look at this. I just wrote this down. Iraq, <laughs> Libya. She voted Iraq. Let's go into Iraq. I voted against it, except I was a civilian, so nobody cared. From the beginning, I said it's going to destabilize the Middle East Not and true. Iran will take over Iraq. You know, for years they've been trying to get Iraq, and Iraq has been trying to get Iran. We I decimated so. that country's military, and now the country's a mess. And what we did is we got ISIS, they got oil. Her decisions in Iraq, Syria, Egypt, Libya have cost trillions of dollars, thousands of lives, and have totally unleashed ISIS. Now, thousands of lives, yes, for us, but probably millions of lives, in all fairness, folks, okay? Probably millions. You know, there is another side to this story. Millions of lives, millions. You know, they bomb a city, I watch it. They bomb a city, and you go and you see this city that's obliterated, right? Obliterated. We started this. Obama couldn't get us out properly, but we started this. Now it's a total mess. If nothing would have happened, we would have been far better off than we are now. We spent $4 trillion, but they bomb a city. I'm pretty good at this stuff, and I look, and there's <laughs> practically nothing. These buildings, four or five-story buildings, are just laying, in, and they'll say, nobody was killed. Nobody was killed. I'll bet you thousands and thousands of people were killed every time you see that television set. They say, nobody was killed. You know, there is another side to it, okay? And let me tell you something. We've lost thousands of lives, trillions of dollars. Millions of people have been killed. Millions of people have been killed, all told. And what do we have for it? Nothing. 
If we would have done nothing, I always say if our presidents had gone to the beach every day of the year 15 years ago, we would have been in much better shape. You'd have Saddam Hussein, who's a bad guy, somebody, you know, one of these dishonest press, they're the most dishonest human beings in the world. I said, I said, Saddam Hussein killed terrorists, which he did. And the next day they did a story, Donald Trump likes Saddam Hussein. So I always say it differently now. I say, Saddam Hussein, who was a bad guy, a horrible guy, a miserable, horrible human being, right? This way I'm protected from these horrible, yuck, they're disgusting. <laughs> Saddam Hussein was a bad guy, but Saddam Hussein did something very well. He killed terrorists. Now Iraq is Harvard for terrorism. If you want to be a, a terrorist, you go to Iraq. It's Harvard. He used to kill them instantaneously. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, they didn't go through 15 years of a court case. It didn't take them 15 years and they didn't read the rights. They killed terrorists, all right? You didn't have terrorists. And by the way, in all fairness, the Iraqis did not knock down the World Trade Center, just in case you had any questions. And so we have here the dove, uh, Donald Trump, who is criticizing the idea of, of following the Constitution and giving uh, defendants some uh, measure of trials and um, reading them their rights or whatever it is. Uh, he wants to go back to the old just killing terrorists. That's the dove. The dove who wants to just uh, b uh, blow up uh, ISIS and their families uh, and, um, and then take the oil from these countries. That's the dove who wants to stabilize the Middle East. The one who also said, should we go into Iraq? I guess. Man, we should have uh, bombed the hell out of them before, but we might as well do it now. Howard, I'm trying to talk about chlamydia in Studio 57. I mean, why do you bring a rack up? There's more exciting things to talk about. But look, seriously, all we're saying is give peace a chance. It's true. I like the, the Harvard of terrorists thing. Like, there's guys being like, I don't know why I was sent to Libya. I mean, I did incredible in suicide bomb-making class. I'm very motivated. And yet I didn't get it. I had to go to my safety. <laughs> I'm over here. I mean, I could Benghazi. Something happened there, but you know, it's always Iraq. Nick, uh, Sam, another. Fa